Welcome back to Social Studies, and we are talking about Virginia today, Virginia. So the capital city is Richmond. Oh, let's look at our flag. Do you think that this is the state seal? No, probably not. You know, but there's, there's somebody standing on the chest of somebody else. No, but look, there's, if you look right here, that looks like a crown. crown. Wonder who they're standing on the top of then if it looks like. If you look at, shh, look at this, sick, semper, what does that word look like? Tyrannus, or does anybody, does that sound like any other word you know? Tyr Tyranny. Tyranny, huh. Did we hear something about that word tyranny? Look at the shape of the state. Yeah, it's kind of interesting shape, isn't it? All right, so uh, state cap uh, capital city is Richmond. I forgot to do that. Whoops, I better get on my job. Statehood is June 25th, 1788. It's the 10th state. That's interesting. It's the 10th one. Uh, state motto, Sic Sempre Tyrannus, Latin meaning is thus always to tyrants. You guys know what a tyrant is? Tyrants is... And you know, sometimes you know the meaning, but you don't know how to explain the meaning. Do you know what I'm talking about? Tyrant is an absolute ruler, unrestrained by law or constitution. A ruler who exercises absolute power oppressively or brutally. So a tyrant isn't like the president of the United States who has checks and balances, right? A tyrant is somebody who does what he or she wants and is brutal. Brutal means... They're not nice, right? They're pretty nasty, okay? Nickname is the Old Dominion State. The Old Dominion State. Old Dominion State. The Old Dominion State. Population is number 12 of 50, so they're in the top, like, 25% of population. Did you know Virginia was the site of surrenders ending the American Revolution, which is the Yorktown, which was at Yorktown, and the Civil War, was, which was at Appomattox Courthouse? The Tomb of the Unknown Soldier is in Arlington National Cemetery. Virginia is known as the birthplace of a nation. Patrick Henry made his give me liberty or give me death speech in St. John's Church in Richmond. The Pentagon building is in, in Arlington is the largest office building in the world. Richmond was also the capital of the Confederate States during the Civil War. It does. Um, but look at this. So Maryland is right here here right this is Maryland and this is Virginia so if you work um, and remember who who gave Washington DC to Washington DC Maryland. Maryland did so Maryland and Virginia if you work in Washington DC it's very possible that you live in Maryland or Virginia and it kind of looks I don't think West Virginia is a really good place to possibly live, but I know that people I know that live in or work in D.C. live in Virginia, and people have lived in Maryland. You know, it's a good observation. I don't, I don't know that I would have thought that. But yeah, so it kind of looks like a guy laying down and somebody standing on top of him. 
Okay. It is the seal. I can't imagine my state seal being a guy standing on top of somebody else. <laughs> I just can't imagine that. This is Jamestown, uh, Virginia. And uh, those look like the old-fashioned ships, so I wonder why they're there. Um, we'll get into it more when we get into more social studies. When we actually get into the book, we'll lear do some learning. the Mayflower came into where? Not New York. The Mayflower, Plymouth, Plymouth Plantation, and I think that wasn't that, I think it was Pennsylvania, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I did. I showed you right here. So it's right there. Or it would be number what on our packet? Number 10 on our packet. Um, make sure you write down a did you know? Give me liberty or give me death. Tomb of the Unknown Soldiers, Arlington National Cemetery. So Arlington National Cemetery is in Virginia. So if you're somebody that love you love has fought in a war, like a civil war or that'd be like a great, great, great somebody, civil war or um, World War II or World War One or some of the other battles, um, sometimes there are, um, it's a possibility that they're, they, they're buried in Arlington Summon. Arlington National Cemetery, that's a possibility. Um, and like, like they said, the Tomb of the Unknown Soldiers there. Uh, if the Mayflower wasn't in Pennsylvania, I could tell my grandfather, because and and, he was born in Pennsylvania. He was born in Pennsylvania, very cool. My grandpa was in Iraq. Grandpa was in Iraq. Virginia's number eight, okay. Very cool. All right, we got to go on, but here is the Virginia poster. So here's their state flag. So, yep, that person seen over. Um, notice, colonial daily life in the 18th century is reenacted in Williamsburg. Williamsburg. So if you go to Williamsburg, you can like go back in time and see what happened back in the day. So go ahead and write that down. Colonial daily life. In the 18th century. is reenacted in Williamsburg. Now, um, you go up, like, there's a couple forts. Uh, there's one fort specific, well, there's a couple of forts, one on the islands, and one in on, in the city of Mackinac. So Mackinac Island and in Ma the Mackinac City, there are two forts there. That if you go into the fort, it kind of acts like it looks like a day back in the day, right? They wear the period clothing. I even saw a beloved person knitting. So of course I had to stop and talk to her about it, right? She was knitting away, and I'm like, "Oh, what are you making?" And she said, "Well, for when it gets cooler out." Because it just closed like last weekend, I think they closed, or the weekend before. So they're open pretty late in the season. What? We should take a field trip there. You know, some schools do take field trips to Mackinac Island or the city of Mackinac. But it's not as convenient for us to take a field trip there because 
you know, it's like a three hour trip up. And, and then it's three out and then it's three hour trip back. So you if we went up we'd have to like spend the night and stuff and that would be a big haboo. But um but if your parents are going on a trip, you could suggest, hey, Miss Richardson says some of these reenactment places are really sweet to go in and kind of experience it for myself. Very cool. All right. Okay. I I do know that. That's kind of cool. Cool. It's very cool, isn't it? All right, here we go. Ooh, the state dog is the fox hound. It is another cardinal. Dogwood flower. And state tree is a dogwood tree. Wait, yesterday's was dogwood. It wasn't the state tree. Yesterday, I think, it, or the other day, I think it was the. So, so I think the thing to think about is where do where in relation do they they where in relation are the states, right? They're close to each other. Interesting. All right, I'm gonna pause it for just a second so you guys have a minute to color. So next, we're moving on to West Virginia. Here is the state of West Virginia. Looks like it has June 20th, 1863 maybe. Oh, look at that on the date. So these are the two guys, state of West Virginia, June 20th, 1863. This is what the shape looks like. Notice it fits right above Virginia, right? Uh, look, there's the date, right? June 20th, 1863. What happened June 20th, 1863? The war? It is the 35th state. state introduced into the United States. Capital city is Charleston. Oh, of course, I'm putting it in the wrong spot again. Charleston. The Nick, all the state ma uh, motto, Mountaineers are always free. That's kind of cool. State motto. Does it have our state nickname? Oh, there it is. The Mountain State. I don't understand it's called the Mountain State because they have a lot of mountains. Do they? And have you been to Virgin West Virginia? Yeah, we had to go all the way through there. I, so we went through Ohio, Virginia, West Virginia, North, South Carolina, and North Carolina. Gotcha. Uh, it is 38 out of 50. So this one is in the bottom half of population. Did you know West Virginia was part of Virginia until Virginia seceded from the Union in 1861? So Virginia left the Union and who stayed? West, West Virginia. So during the Civil War, Virginia said, we're out of here. And West Virginia's like, oh, no, no, don't pick us. Don't pick us. We're staying right where we are. 
So that's why we have West Virginia and Virginia. I did not know that. That's interesting. What? I don't know. That would be a good question to look up if the U.S. rewarded them for staying. Uh, the delegates of the 40 western co counties who opposed secession formed their own government and were granted statehood in 1863. So, 1863, they became a state. Oh, yeah, duh. What I was looking for is... So June 25th, 1788, it was a state. Virginia was a state, right? And West Virginia became a state June 20th, 1863, when Virginia left and they became their own state. West Virginia is the second largest coal producing state in the country. I would have thought they were number one. Wouldn't you have thought they were number one? Cool. Well, I'm actually talking to Miss Abby in the back, but I appreciate you responding. Because um, cool is a pretty big deal in West Virginia. Um, the, the, a lot of their, a lot of their people make money by mining. So, while well, they're they're mining, and so they, mining's a big deal in their area. Um, so I would I would have assumed it was first, not second. Uh, the first state sales tax in the United States went into effect in West Virginia, 1921. So you know how you go and you buy Legos at Meyer or Walmart or somewhere? And they're like, oh, sorry, it's not $20. It's $20 plus tax, right? So that's sales tax. It was declared a state by President Abraham Lincoln. West Virginia is the only state to be designated by presidential proclamation. That is sweet. I love that. That is so cool. That's the fact I'm writing down. I'm going to pause this so you can take a minute and write your facts down. So here's West Virginia. I'm assuming, oh, New River Gorge. So that's got to be a pretty important piece of West Virginia. State of West Virginia, notice June 20th, 1863 is on the rock. And that's just in honor of them becoming a state. All right, let's see, we're scrolling down. Ooh, West Virginia has yellow apples under their names. That's interesting. The National Marble Museum is located in West Virginia. <gasps> like marbles, the marbles you play with marbles? That would be a cool museum to go to. Yay. There is another cardinal coming up. You're right. Um, State flag, we just saw. State flowers, the rhododendron. The state tree is the sugar maple. I forgot to put my marble back down. I need to put that down. The National Marble. Marble Museum. Is located in West Virginia. Rhododendron. Rhododendron, yep. And it is a black bear. Here we go. Make sure you get your state flower, rhododendron, black bear, cardinal.
And the 35th state to be admitted to the union. Now it makes sense as to why they're so late, right? Virginia was 10 and West Virginia wasn't until 35 because they split off of Virginia. Okay, go ahead and take a minute and you can color. Here's a little bit more time that I promised you with Tennessee. Back there for now. All right, so list no races. Two, I want races. Three, I want races. Four is definition. Five is a definition. And six is the season, which is kind of like a definition. Seven is races. Eight is a list, so there's no races for eight. Nine is races. Ten is a list. Eleven is a list. And 12 is races because it says describe. Now I'm going to the southeast. Oops, I forgot to, there we go. Pull it back down. The southeast region has many different Native American tribes, has had many different Native American tribes living there for thousands of years. We only talked about one, right? Which one did we talk about in related to the east? Yep, Iroquois, good job. Uh, some of the notable tribes were the Mississippi Mound Builders, the Cherokee, Chickasaw, Choctaw, Creek, and Seminole. There were many other tribes that flourished in the Southeast as well, prior to the arrival of European explorers. Juan Ponce de Leon was the first European to arrive in the southeast when he landed in Florida in 1513. Yeah, or you guys can highlight it because you guys have it on your, that's what I would do. I would highlight it on your list, and then when you go to do it, you can just transfer it over. So if you're following along on mine, you can just highlight it on yours, and then we'll transfer it over. Okay, so, uh, do, do, do. Those early, okay, so during the 1500s, many more European explorers arrived by ship in the southeast. Those early explorers were looking for gold, other riches, and even for the mythical fountain of youth. If we were going to be reading Tuck Everlasting, they kind of go into the fountain of youth idea quite well in Tuck Everlasting. Anybody watched the movie Tuck Everlasting before? I have one taker. Um, they read it last year. I don't know if we have time. We might squeak it in at the way in, but it's not something I'm planning on reading this year. I've got other ones that I really want to read. So we're going to do those in prioritizing. Um, so the fountain of youth basically is, if I drink from this fountain, I'll never get old, baby. No, you, you depends on what the thing says. Sometimes you have to drink it daily or something, or sometimes you drink it once and you're set for life. Isn't usually like where, um, isn't it like inside most stories and songs and stuff like that? Isn't it like only one person can actually drink it? I don't know. I, you know, it's kind of one of those, um, what was the word we used this morning? Sue. Yeah, it's kind of like a superstition or a legend and they're like oh if this happens this will happen oh oh soon after in European settlers followed their path across the ocean the settlers planned to set up colonies and call the new lands their homes in the 1500s many of the new colonies failed due to disease starvation and fighting with Native Americans and even fighting with other European colonists. Eventually many English, French, and Spanish colonies seceded, succeeded in the southeast region. So eventually many of them succeeded in the southeast region. I don't really have time to go further than this. So we're going to stop here for today. 
We'll talk to you later. Bye.